after. How are you? I'm good. How I are know you? we've been trying to do this forever. Yes. Forever. Got okay. It. All right. Shoeshoes.com. We're here with Jordan Sparks, finally, outrageously talented. So, how did you get involved with the? Let me get this. The heart shoes red dress. Exactly. Um, I've always been interested in it. I've seen it for the past two years, and I loved it because they picked celebrities to walk the runway, and I've always wanted to do that. And plus, um, the fact that they're raising awareness about heart disease. My great grandmother passed away from it two years ago, okay. and um, ever since then, me and my family have been trying to be more conscious of you know the way we eat, our blood pressure, our cholesterol, all those of levels and different things like that so we make sure that we're taking steps to make sure we're healthy as well and um, so to be able to be a part of it and walk the runway one of the youngest ones walking and say hey I'm 20 it could happen to me too it could happen to anybody it's just awesome to be able to raise awareness by doing something fun I get to wear a pretty dress and be all dressed up What's, who's the dress by? Badgley Mishka okay designed it working it all right, so speaking of charity, you teamed up with the Pennywell Signature Collection? Yeah. Can you tell us about that real quick? I did. I teamed up with them, and it was actually before the earthquake in Haiti happened. And what he does is he takes our, our different artists, whether they're painters or entertainers or anything like that, they take their little drawings and literally puts it on the silver. He doesn't edit it. He doesn't do anything. So all the little imperfections, all the eraser marks, everything is independent. And so what I did is I drew two little people. I put Sugi Des underneath it, which means like a friend hey I love you kind of thing and um, so once that happened the earthquake in Haiti happened when we were starting into production so we wanted to be able to do something to help so the proceeds go to Haiti as well for those and I think they extended the sale as well so there's five more Where days can they at? pennyroyalsilver.com make sure you go five more days only and um, proceeds go to Haiti so if you want to help buy a necklace I know you lent your voice to the 25th anniversary of We Are The World. How yes. was that? It I know you were good. excited. You had Brandy, Snoop. Well, I was freaking out because I was standing there like, all these people are standing here and I've been listening to their music <laughs> and we're all in the same room. It was insane to see all the people. Celine Dion, Barbara Streisand, uh, goodness gracious, Natalie Cole, Gladys Knight, Pink, uh, Jonas Brothers was there, Miley Cyrus was there, I was there, Maya, Tyrese, just so many different people and it was awesome to see them all come together for something bigger than ourselves. It wasn't about the media, it right. wasn't about the press, it wasn't about any of that, it was about, hey, this song can make a difference and it's bigger than we are. So I just had a really good time being there, seeing all of their hearts as well. Okay, um, the Spark with Donna know upcoming singles. Anything I still know don't know. I don't have any information for you guys. I know you want to know. I don't know what my next single is going to be. I hope that it's like, I would love for it, for it to be Walking on Snow. It takes more, um, no parade, any of them. I would just love to have a third single, so we'll see. But I am touring this March. Okay. Hopefully I'll get to tour this March, and it'll be more like a theater, House of Blues type, smaller crowd, more intimate. And then, um... I think maybe this summer go on a bigger tour, like bigger venue type tour. Okay. My favorite song on the album is Was I the Only One? Thank you! I feel like you evoke so much emotion on that song and it's just perfect. Thank you! Yeah! Actually, I'm really glad you liked that. That was one of the songs that I wrote and literally like everything just came pouring out after they were like, okay, here's I, I the hear idea. It. I, I love it. And I wrote it and it just came pouring out and it's such a universal song. Like everybody has felt that way, whether it's with their parents, whether it's with a relative, their friends, romantic relationship, everybody's felt like, am I the only one who is seeing this here? Like, yeah. am I the only one that loves you? I'm putting in all the work and you ain't Exactly. But, okay, um, okay, uh, <laughs> Was I the only one who fell in love? There never really was the two of us. Maybe my heart wasn't good enough. Was I the only one? Only one in love. Real quick, four fan questions. Four fan questions. Charlie, which song do you wish would have sing from the first album? From the first album, I really wanted Permanent Monday, Freeze, Worth the Wait, and Virginia's for Lovers. Yeah. Yeah. Alex wants to know, and Alex actually put me on too. Okay. So, shout out to Alex. Thanks, He's Alex. Thank you. So Thank you. Okay. Wait, oh, she's with Alex? Yeah. Oh, wow. Love die. you. You're awesome. Thank you for your support. Are there any songs by any other others you wish you would have recorded? I wish I would have recorded Hate That I Love You, Rihanna and Neo. One of my favorite songs. Also... Um, oh my gosh, I just had it in my head. 
Um, I actually wish I did I'm a Bee by the Black Eyed Peas. Fergie's rap is like awesome. Jordan? Um, oh, I heard Joe Quee Quee is going to be on the next album. Joe Quee Quee, we'll see. I, I don't know. But I would love to do more acting, so hopefully I'll get to invoke that in there. Okay. Yeah. Laura wants to know more and more celebrities are jumping into reality TV. Would you ever do a reality show? Well, before reality TV was the most popular thing on television, my family is insane. Every day there's something crazy that happens, and so we were thinking like it would be awesome to have the cameras following us around, but I think we'd rather do it ourselves, tape ourselves, and then edit out what we don't want people to see instead of all that crazy stuff. Yeah, we might as well just do that. I don't think I'll be doing reality TV except for Idol, which was awesome. Unless they asked me to judge, that would be cool. One last question. If you had to eliminate one emotion from your life, which would it be in mind? Emotion. It's a good one. Um, I would love to erase stress because stress just leads to everything else. Once you're stressed, you're either sad, angry, you're over emotional, you eat, you don't know what to do, you lose your hair. So stress is definitely one I would love to just get out of here. Hey guys, it's me Jordan Sparks, and you're chilling with me and Silent on True Exclusive Stock. Okay, I'm sorry everything just didn't work out before, but this is perfect. And I look pretty too. Okay, ready? Wait, look at my boots. I gotta wear these outside because we gotta walk outside in our dress. It's gonna be insane. But it's okay. And make sure you check your blood pressure. For all you women, blood pressure, your cholesterol levels. Be active, get physical, no smoking. Be careful, that'll help prevent heart disease and you'll be good.